Hello, my name is Milton Ramirez. I'm a product technical specialist here at Haas. On this apps minute, we'll talk about the positions display. This display allows the machine operator to see the current machine axis positions at all times relative to four reference points. Each of these displays serves an important function for a machinist during the setup process, proving out a program, and seeing the program run per the G-code. Let's look at the first tab of the positions display. We can open this page simply by pressing the positions key. The program tab displays the axis positions relative to part zero. On machine power up, this position uses work offset G54 as default. Once the program is running, it will display the active work offset and stay there until changed. You can compare the values displayed with the commanded positions in the program to verify correct work offsets, program execution, etc. The distance to go tab. This is the most commonly used display by machinists when they're proving out a program. Proving out a program is usually done step by step in single block mode with the rapid feed rate set to 5%. For a machinist, knowing how much more an axis will travel before it reaches the commanded endpoint is critical. With the rapid set to 5%, the values for each axis slowly decrease until the endpoint is reached. This is a simple way to tell if your commanded positions are actually correct in the real world. The machine tab. This tab is pretty straightforward. It displays the axis positions relative to machine zero for each axis. The operator tab. This tab shows the distance you have jogged the axis. This does not necessarily represent the actual distance the axis is from machine zero or part zero. This page can be used as a DRO, a digital readout. To do this, you can zero out the axis you are jogging by typing the axis letter and pressing the origin key. You can also enter any value you want on any axis by typing the axis letter, the value, and pressing enter. There are prompts at the bottom of the screen to remind you. The All tab. This tab is simple, but also useful. It displays all four positions displays at the same time. It also shows the jog rate currently selected. Last but not least, we want to explain what the Alter button does on each of these pages. When you press the Alter key, this brings up a menu called the Axis Display Selection. You can add or remove the displayed axis simply by checking or unchecking the axis letter. You can display a maximum of five axes. By pressing the Origin key, you can put the display back to factory settings. That's it for today's Apps Minute. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of how to use the positions page on the control. Thank you for watching.